Mad Max Fury Road was a big hit with the fans. I mean, it, it was just a really fun movie. Some people thought it was one of the best films of the year. I didn't like it as much as some people did, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, I, I thought it was a really, really great time. And of course, we got introduced to this new character played by Charlize Theron, Furiosa. Now, I will admit that when they announced that they were going to do a Furiosa prequel, I did not love the idea. I mean, I love the character. But I would like to see things moving forward. I'm not generally a big fan of going backwards and telling prequels. There are exceptions for sure, but in general, I'm not. Then I heard Anya Taylor-Joy was going to play the younger version of Charlie Stare. And I thought, okay, okay, that, that's a really good pick to play the younger Furiosa. I could be on board with that. In George Miller's world, all that kind of stuff. Well, then, kind of surprisingly, coming out of CCXP in Brazil, the first trailer dropped yesterday. And so it was a little bit of, let's say, apprehension that I went ahead and fired up the trailer. I got to say, I loved it. I really liked it. As somebody who has been doubtful about this movie, and the movie still may end up not being something that I like, but as somebody who's been pretty pessimistic about this project, um, I call it as I see it. The trailer came. I watched it. I was glued to the screen. I, I really liked what I saw. I love the visuals. I love the audio. It's just a first trailer, which means don't expect much out of it. And it is what it is. It's the second and third trailers that they should start giving you the meat of what's the movie about and all that kind of stuff. But this first trailer is just a, here's a little sample. Boom. And, and I loved it. And I did not realize when that damn trailer started that that was Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> I, I did not realize it at all. I mean, it's not quite as extreme as Colin Farrell in the uh, Penguin prosthetics or nor as unrecognizable. Because to this day, I look at the Penguin and I'm like, I still don't see Colin Farrell in there. Once I realized that that was Chris Hemsworth, I oh, okay, yeah, now I can see it. But again, it just recaptured a lot of that frantic, chaotic, you know, anarchic energy. <laughs> look at that. I just, I just didn't see it at first. I just didn't see it at first. But to really get that anarchic energy that, that came from Mad Max Fury Road. And of course, some of the visual cues in the trailer are going to get a lot of fans of Fury Road excited. I can't remember what the name of the, the guys are that paint themselves white and skip. Yeah. Are the ones who yell witness? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I can't remember what they called themselves. At any rate, them, uh, Joe is in there. You going back to that world again? And I thought her arm looked awesome. Oh, the arm looked really cool. Oh, the arm looked so oh, they're good. They're called the War Boys. The War Boys. War Thank boys. you. I, what can I say? Hey, listen, it's just a first trailer. It's just a bunch of random shots edited together. I get it, but I'm evaluating it on that premise. And I, I got to say, as somebody who's been skeptical, I am now suddenly kind of excited to see this movie. That's what a good trailer does. If a trailer can take you from a place of being, eh, I could give or take that upcoming movie, and then you see the trailer and you go, okay, now I want to see this movie, that is a well-made trailer. I loved what I saw. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Guys, you know, as a small business owner, I am finding myself having to be in negotiations all the time, whether it's with new contractors, vendors, or even agencies that represent our company. Now, I don't like to go into these negotiations unarmed, so I found the perfect class on Masterclass, The Art of Negotiation by Chris Voss, a real-life former FBI lead hostage negotiator. Taking this class on Masterclass made me feel a lot more equipped and confident going into all these various negotiations. I have to do on a regular basis. With Masterclass, you can learn from the best to become your best anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. An annual membership starts at just $10 a month, and you get unlimited access to every instructor, thousands of online lessons, exclusive content, insight, and much more. There are over 180 classes to pick from, everything from filmmaking with Martin Scorsese all the way to cooking with the great Gordon Ramsay. In Masterclass, you will find practical lessons that you can apply to your life and work. So guys, get unlimited access to every class. And right now, as a John Campia Show listener, you can get 15% off when you go to masterclass.com slash Campia. That's masterclass.com slash Campia for 15% off an annual membership. Masterclass.com slash Campia. Chris, you had a chance to see this trailer. What do you think of it? Oh, it's just the right amount of, of kitsch and violence. 
I'm real excited about it. I think it looks great. Uh, like you, I often have problems with prequels just because, well, I know what's going to happen to you. But this is a character where I'm excited about that journey. I'm so interested in the arm situation. I'm right. so interested in these other warlords. I think there's a lot of cool stuff. It's riding a bike uh, on fire. Yeah, it looks really rad. <laughs> is that will... Ghost Rider? It's Ghost Rider, right? It's a crossover. Nicholas Cage is in everything. This is great. <laughs> Good for him. What a year. Um, <laughs> one of the things, and this is such a nitpicky issue, because I know this also happened with Fury Road. The trailer has a little more CGI than I expected, just yeah. because right. I think of these movies as practical effect mm. movies. But that's what happened with Fury Road, too, of just kind of finishing off some things to kind of make that trailer a little yeah. glossier. I mentioned that to John earlier. Yeah. Yeah. There's, they rely heavily on those speed ramps. Exactly. I hate speed mm -hmm. ramps in trailers. Yeah. So, and then it just slows down. Yeah. But it's, that was never in the movie. Exactly. So, so I'm not too concerned about that. I think it is just to make that pace of the trailer, yeah. right? So you feel like you're in that race, you're in that high speed chase yeah. and everything. Um, but I think this looks dope. And I freaking love her. And Chris Hemsworth seems like he's going to have a great time as this. He's Lord Dementis. Is that the character's name? I, I didn't see the name of the character. Oh, I'm <laughs> hyped about it. I officially now found the name of my firstborn child. Lord Dementis. <laughs> Lord, Lord Dementis. Dementis. Oh, poor Lord Anne. Dementis Campia. <laughs> Oh. Ray, you're going to be the uncle to that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That kid is going to have respect <laughs> everywhere he goes. I'm, that is I'm an sure interesting it. word for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. The question is for you. What did you think of the trailer? Have you been pessimistic about it? Excited about it? Like me, like prior to it coming out and now I've been won over? Whatever you guys think, jump on down in the comments and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.